Hey everyone, Phil from 3DP UK Tech Channel. Today's quick review is on the Sculpt Fun IQ Pro Max 10 Watt Laser. Um, as you can see in the contents, you get a spare filter and carbon filter. You also receive the instructions manual in multiple languages. You even get a laser repair kit. And let's have a quick look inside that. So you have a cleaning cloth for the lens which it's always a good idea to keep that clean as you go along. A spanner to tighten up some of the um, connections inside the machine itself. A um, tool to actually remove the lens itself. And then you have the um, Allen keys that you need to, and also another wrench. And I believe this is so that you can tighten up the eccentric nuts and another Allen key as well. Also in the box is a USB key. So it comes with some various files on there which I've already connected up to my uh, computer. And then lastly, the spare laser lens, which I think is a great idea to actually have that in there. Um, something that people always have trouble trying to find. Sculpt Fun IQ Pro Max 10 Watt has an engraving area of 120 millimeters by 120 millimeters. It has a high speed of 10,000 millimeters a minute. Um, it has a open sort of door design. So as you can see, that's the power unit. And on to the right hand side, we have the on off switch, the power connection and the USB-C connection. And it also gives you some various information that I've just explained. And it also gives you a QR code for quick guides. Um, so you've got this Perspex eye protection. I do find it a little bit clunky, to be honest with you, and did have some issues with connecting it. Um, and then you have the laser itself, which is quite easy to connect. Pretty much as you unbox it, it comes out as it is. And then you have the little twisty knob on the right hand side. This lowers and heightens the laser itself. As you can see, you just undo that and it drops down. So obviously you do need to be careful not to allow the laser head to hit the base just in case it damages the actual thing. And over to the left hand side, there's nothing on this side. And then going to the rear of the machine is where the exhaust fan is. So as, as you know, with the spare filter and carbon filter, it actually comes with that. How good that is, is questionable. So when you push on the um, laser cover, it just means that you can engrave and hopefully keep some of the fumes in. So now we're looking at the instructions manual. As I said, this is the 10 watt. It does come in a three watt, five watt combination, but this is the 10 watt. It just gives you information on how to connect up to the app that you can do. And it gives you the QR codes for your different operating systems for your phone. And then it just gives you like how to connect up to light burn, etc. And then how to take apart the rear to actually change the filters. So the rest of this manual is just various languages. Okay, a quick word from today's video sponsor, pcbway.com. As you can see from the website, it's really easy to use. They have an instant quote system. They do uh, PC board prototyping, PCB assembly, rigid flex, um, they also do 3D printing services and CNC services. So if you click on each of those different sections, they will take you into like a quote system where you can select exactly your requirements. They deliver worldwide and they have instant payments. They're, they're well respected within the um, prototyping community. CBWay.com, today's video sponsor. Okay, so... The actual laser head has like a drop down um, guide and you raise the actual laser head to be able to get the focus correct. So all you do is undo the twisty knob on the side, make sure that the, the guide is in the correct position, which is this position like this, and then tighten it up and that is your focus. So um, what we're going to do now is check out the app that um, connects up to this as well and see how that runs. Okay, so I downloaded the app from um, my app store. Um, took a bit of a head scratch to actually connect up. Um, what you need to do is connect up with Wi-Fi. 
Um, and then once you've connected that, it will give you a password and it's all in the actual instructions manual and it connects up. So now you can see that it's linked up by the actual image and the IP address. Now we're going to add like a, um, a picture. So there are various options to choose from, but we'll just go for a simple one today. Um, we'll probably go for the um, rocket ship. So just at the top of the screen, we'll select that. And that puts it into like an editing package that's on the app. And then what we do is we want to add some text. So today I'm just going to add my um, channel name, which is 3DPU Tech Channel. Um, once again, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, click the notification bell. Um, you can adjust the actual text to the direction. The next bit is just a few more information. So if you want to change some of the actual process of that. It also gives the size and the speed and the power. So you want to adjust that and make sure. We're going to go for uh, 4,500 speeds. So and now this is all a test. So we don't really know if this is going to work. And it will come up that it's operated successfully. So outside of this app, you can, um, the actual machine that I'm using is moving. So um, you'll have to take my word for that. Um, and it all seems to be going pretty well, so it's sending the signal over and it saves to the memory. And then what we do is actually start printing. Now the signal has been sent over. This is the actual outcome of that. Um, the actual machine itself took that information and went away and did it. So the only thing I found a bit of an issue was that it, it was hard to sort of uh, do a pre-workout of where that would burn. So it did burn in the incorrect place, so I reset that. So something to uh, be aware on um, apps. Okay, so the next part of this video, I thought I'd remove the actual top of the laser and have a look at the actual workings of this. As you can see, um, it has the limit switches, so on the X and Y. Um, it, the cable management is a little bit questionable in some areas. They seem to catch and snag on things. I mean, they've made quite a, a decent effort of it. The motherboard itself, um, as you can see, um, this is the iCube MV 2.0. Um, I know a lot of people have mentioned on the Facebook group and people that have purchased it that the actual X and Y is slightly off. So what I did was I actually um, done the eccentric nuts because this was wobbly um, and just made sure that they were in the correct tension. And like I said, it has the limit switches um, and then the actual laser itself. So it's quite easy to connect up. So there's the other limit switch. So overall, um, it's always good to open that up um, on first use and double check your eccentric nuts. Just make sure everything's connected. Like I say, when I unboxed it, it was just connecting up the um, laser itself. Okay, so let's just quickly check out the website for the SculptFun IQ Pro Max 10 Watt. So looking on the actual website itself, it gives you various options that you can add. Um, this is obviously the 10 watt and a 10,000 speed. Um, UK based, so UK plug gives you obviously some extras that you, if you want to add it. And what we're going to do is check out the description. So the description of this is a 10 watt diode laser with a 0 0.08 laser focus. It's the 10 watt, so it has the 32 bit, so that helps with the speed. It's the um, has the smoke filter, so it also comes with spares, multiple connections like Type C and the app. SculptFun app can be found. Also has a temperature alarm function. So if it goes over a certain temperature, it will just shut the machine down. And then the eye protection, so the shield around the actual machine. And then you can also um, do outside of the actual laser engraving and then a replaceable lens, which comes in these spares. The specifications, so uh, Wi-Fi is 2.4 and then 455 um, NM and then the engraving area and the types of images, formats, and what type of application. So Lightburn, LaserGobel, and the SculptFun app. Um, weighs around about 4.75 kilos. Bring out some laser projects now. Yeah, I feel a bit 
flowing layer by layer we rise I dissect the specs and check magic with my eyes In as I craft, yeah, build like a king With lasers precise, hear the sound of me sing Tuning for the truth, watch the brilliance unfold Okay, so I've shown a few projects. Um, I'm going to be really honest. I had a lot of issues with this particular model. Um, it just really didn't sort of live up to my expectations, if I'm honest. Um, so the overall setup was really simple because of the fact that it was already pre-built. The only thing you have to do is add the laser itself. So it's just a connection and then obviously just check the eccentric nuts and etc. So connecting it up to the actual app was okay. And to the um, software that I was using, so Lightburn. But the overall use of it, um, for the fact that it's a 10 watt laser, I really struggled to sort of get any sort of detail from it. Now I was doing some of my um, projects at 4000 speed and 100% power. And it was just so lacking in the actual quality and detail was really lacking in comparison to other 10 watt lasers that I own and have reviewed so and also when I was cutting out I was doing it at 150 and 100 percent power and it didn't cut through on the first pass now the other laser I used recently which was a 10 watt that cut in I believe 180 in one pass so I, I changed the cut into 180 times three passes and it did actually eventually cut through. And this is only a three mil um, actual material. So it really struggled with that. What what worries me is that for a 10 watt laser, it just seems to be really lacking in power. Um, I don't think it's just this model. It's something that I've seen across the board in terms of people's feedback. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. what worries me is that... Um, for small projects that this would would really struggle and like i say the quality was really lackluster um that's something that seems to be a bit of a concern for such a, a highly priced product like this i believe currently around about the 300 pound marks and sort of competitors you're looking at around about 200 for a 10 watt laser so so my ending thoughts really on this um and it's really difficult to say that I wasn't overly impressed. Now, I was sent this laser to review, um, but I haven't been paid for this review. So I wanted to give you an honest review of what I thought. And in comparison to other 10 watt lasers, it really does fall behind on that front. Okay, so I'm Phil from 3DP UK Tech Channel. I'm gonna wrap it up now. That was the Sculpt Fun 10 watt review, and it really fell below my expectations, really. Um, especially in comparison to other 10 watt lasers. So thanks again to Sculptfun for sending me this to review and for you guys for watching this channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Phil from 3DP UK Tech Channel.